Hello everyone, it's Shanna. Welcome to my craft space. Um, today I wanted to introduce you to a springy card challenge. I just found this on at Paper Crafting with Rebecca and I thought it might be fun to play along. I normally play along with Craft Roulette. In fact, I've already submitted my video for that. But this particular challenge, you're using the word springy and you're going to include the following items. Stencil, pattern paper, ripped paper, ink, your new uh, newest thing in your craft room, glossy accent or gloss of some sort, and then yarn. So those are the things that you're going to be using on this um, springy card challenge. You might look up at Paper Crafting with Rebecca if you want to hop in on the challenge. I'm going to tag um, hashtag springy card challenge and kind of join up with them. So I just invite you to play along. I'm going to try it out and then see. And I like when you're given parameters and you have to work with those. So I'm going to check this out. And I'm just going to create a card with it. So follow along. Have a great day. Okay, so I'm just playing along with uh, at Paper Crafting with Rebecca. And um, I need a stencil is something that I need. And I'm going to have to come up. Oh, I know what I've got. I've got a cloud stencil. Um, you're supposed to use pattern paper and uh, ripped paper. You're supposed to do some ink blending. Use whatever's newest in your um, craft room, the gloss and the yarn. I, I know I went over those in the intro, but... So my newest thing in the craft room, I've been fiddling around with. I haven't got a video out on it. It is this die set, which is called... Let me see. It is called Welcome Signs and Sentiments from Spellbinders. And it is my newest thing in the craft room. And I actually recreated um, similarly to this um, with a few changes. The sentiment's different and the, I use the gold chain for the... But anyway, I've got that recreated. And so I'm going to use it. I'm actually going to build one of these because I, I haven't done a video on it yet. And I think it's fun to see these built. I'm actually going to build it with the other hanger because I've already done this one and I'll make a card out of it. But I've got the other hanger. So that's my newest thing that I'll be bringing to the table. And I actually had been fooling around with some ink blending that I have. So I'm going to try and use one of these panels along with it. But I've got to figure out my stencil, my pattern paper, and go from there. So I'm going to just... Um, pause a minute and find some pattern paper um, and then I've got some glossy accents I think I'll rip that pattern paper so that that'll fit that and then I need some yarn if you've followed along in any of my craft room tours you know that I have an afghan on my couch behind me so it has some tassels on it I'll just cut off a piece of that yarn and use it because I don't think I have any other yarn in the house so I'll try to remember to link my craft room tours to the video so you can check out my actual craft room. Anyway, so I'm just going to pause, grab some pattern paper, and get to work on this card. Okay, um, I'm back. I found some pattern paper. I'm um, just going to lay these two aside, kind of show you what I've done before. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, a card base and get it ready. And I've got this blue paper. I'm going to use this blended background. And instead of doing the white and the gold, I'm going to actually do um, a brown, more of a wood, unpainted, unfinished look. So I'm going to get my card base. Actually, I think I could probably, well, I need to trim this down before I start ripping and kind of get an idea. What size have I got here? This is three, three and a half by... See, what have I got? Three and a half by four and three quarters is what that is. So I know what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and make this four and a quarter by um, five and a half, and then I'll rip from there. And I have never ripped paper, so I don't know. I mean, I've ripped paper. I've never ripped paper for my card. So hopefully, I can get a decent rip and make it look like something. So we'll give it a shot, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I think the best way for me to do it is maybe just to put like a snip on there first, just a snip, and then just try and rip it along the way. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've got these nails, and like I said, I don't normally rip rip my paper. I usually use um, A2 Matting Basic dies so that I get a perfect square and a beautiful cut, and so this is going to be kind of fun and kind of different for me. So I'm just going to keep ripping away 
And I'm trying to get a little bit of a wave to it. I don't know if that's good or not. Ooh, I'm getting carried away on that. That's going to be a little bit wild. Just kind of rip, rip, rip. I think I'll speed this up because this is going to take me a minute. Okay, so this is what it looks like ripped. And let's lay this on there and see. Ah, uh, uh, it's pretty close to um, getting an edge around there. I think it'll work. I think it's going to work fine. And then I've got my card panel. Actually, I have two. I only need one. And I'm just going to score it at four and a half. And I'm making an A2 size card, four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half is what this is. And I'm just going to get it ready to go. And I think I've got most of my die cutting done, so I shouldn't have to pause to do that or anything. So I think what I'm going to do, and I feel like, do I need, I feel like I need to tear a little bit more off this side because I've got more, and I like that side, I liked how wavy it was, but I've got more of an edge on that side than at the bottom. So I'm going to tear from this side and see if I can get a more even top and bottom. Or sides, I mean. Yeah, I think that's much more even. Okay, so I'm just going to take my um, tape runner, try and clean up my craft space here a little bit. I've been just crafting away this weekend. Um, I have had a lot of free time. I made five cards yesterday. This morning I made a card for um, Craft Roulette and I loaded my video already and have it all posted and submitted and everything. And those five cards that I made yesterday, I uploaded it and now I'm making this. So I do have some free time today and I'm loving every minute of it. That's a good song, loving every minute. Anyway, I'll probably get, I probably shouldn't use those words on my YouTube channel because I might get copyrighted, but whatever. Anyhow, so I have my panel and I'm going to lay it down. Okay, now what else do I need? So I have, I need to stencil. Well, I have somewhere I need to find, I have a cloud stencil and I've not had success <laughs> with it. So I'm going to try again and see if I can make kind of a cloud look on here and this will be my stencil so that's what I'm going to try to do um, and I probably should not have put it on my card already but we'll mask it off and go from there I only have a couple of blue distressed blue so I, I know what I blended this panel with because I, I blended it um, the other day I was just fooling around actually I made another card and I actually came out with something that a little bit better I have these two blues and that's what's on this card stormy sky and prized ribbon and I think what I'll do is I got quite a bit of lighter up there so I think I'll come in and just blend with that with my darker and just blend it on there get this stuff out of the way so i'm using prize ribbon here okay all right so i'm just going to lift that up i'm using the pink pip pixie tape and i'm tearing it up here i'm just going to lay it aside in case i need to use it again and hopefully we can just pull that off and it'll be all right oh yeah that kind of gave me a nice little um, scene there, cloud scene. All right, so let's use our newest craft room, newest item to our craft room. And I'm just going to bring that tray back in. And there's a lot of stuff in here because I've die cut out. But I, once I saw this um, challenge, I decided I had all these white pieces made and the gold pieces and everything. I decided to go kind of a different route and actually use... Um, wood grain and so it would look a little different from the other one and then I could shoot show actually show two different designs so what I'm doing here is um, I'm going to build my fence first um, I'm going to kind of do like I did here because I really like the fence um, on this card so I'm going to kind of take that and go with it and I let's see 
I want to do this. I'm going to have to do a little snipping, but I think it'll be all right. I'm going to kind of stick with the same three panel uh, fence. I'm actually going to have to die cut out another pole because I have my, I only have three of these and I actually need four. Actually, I might even need five because I might double up my actual signpost. So what I'm doing now is I'm just building a fence. I want to show you how I did it. Um, and you can probably guess from looking at my card. But the hanger, this hanger here, um, kind of looks like a fence, fence post that you could put up and down. So I'm just cutting off as best I can that little hanger part. And I don't want to cut my finger because I cut my finger yesterday. I'm getting good at doing that. And just snip that off as close to the edge as you can. And then that gives you a little fence pole and it's got the wood grain in it too. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And then lay that down as well. Okay, so I'm going to pause here for a minute. I'm going to cut out two more posts and then we'll come back and I'll start assembling the card, maybe speed it up just to kind of hurry things along. Okay, I got the extra pieces die cut out. The first thing I'm going to do and then we'll speed up is I'm going to stamp um, my sentiment on here and use my messy because I'm learning from my mistakes that you need to get it on there before you get it on your card. So we've got lots of, with this set, you've got just lots of things, welcome, winter, thanks, farm fresh, um, you know, all different kinds of things like that. Holiday cheer, Christmas cheer, birthday wishes, thanks a bunch. Just a whole bunch of um, interesting things that you could put on here. Uh, my home sweet home, I would love to use that, but this one came with a cut in it. So it's, I can't, I can't use it, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to use this. It says plant kindness, gather love. I think that's what I'm going to use. Hopefully that will work with my, yeah, it's going to be tricky. Um, so this has not been used, so I need to rough it up a little bit with my hand and just bring my Misty in. I'm just going to use my tuxedo black ink for this and just bring my Misty in. Move my pad over. And there is a little circle here that shows you where your um, insert goes. So you, you have that as a guide for your putting your stamp down. So actually, I'm going to put this. I'm not going to. I don't know if I want to put it up against the edge. I'm going to put it right there at four. And I've got this big, I've got have different um, magnets in here. I'm going to use one to hold my thing in place and the other one to hold my piece of paper down. So I think I've got that. Now I'm just going to, I've got a mess here. Now I'm going to straighten it up again and just stamp this. I really need to clean my desk off. And I'm just going to lightly, these letters are so fine that you don't want to over ink it because it, it can make a mess. So I'm just going to just lightly do it. And I'm also going to press very lightly um, because they can just, if as fine as they are, you can kind of mess it up. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to push down a little bit more and I'm just going to call this a one stamp necessary. So I'm happy with that. Yay. Awesome. Okay, let me get this Misty out of the way. Now we'll get to assembling and we'll just speed things up. Okay, I thought I'd pop back in here. What I'm going to do with my yarn is this set actually makes little chain link and you can actually bend that around there 
um, around the the pull and this and I should have done it before I laid it down but um, you can actually use these to make like a little chain and it will swing but since I have to use yarn in this particular one I thought what I would do is just pull a strand of this yarn out because I was thinking what am I gonna do with that yarn and I really wanted the yarn to be um, kind of in the background and not real obvious and I thought well the best way to do that would be to maybe use this for my to hang my sign so I'm gonna really try we'll see what happens I think it's gonna probably be kind of tedious um, if I can get this unwound this yarn here <laughs> I said it was from the afghan and my craft room it th this this afghan is very 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 old so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull these strands apart there I got one okay good deal so what I'm planning to do if I can is just to run it through my little loop here this is not how I did the other one and actually there we go I'm gonna see if I can run it through there I may have to put a little piece of tape on there to get it to go through I don't know but anyway that's what I'm gonna do with the yarn I'll go ahead and speed it up because it'll probably take a minute and then we'll come back and look at our finished card Okay, so I think I have met all of the elements to my card with the exception of the glossy accent. And I am going to use this glossy accent just on the tops of my clouds. I'm just going to kind of trace an outline on my clouds there. And just kind of give a little bit of gloss to them. See if I can fill that in and see if I can just gloss those clouds all up. And those will take a minute to dry, but um, we'll have some puffy clouds in the back of our sign. So this, it was fun to do this. Like I said, this was the newest thing in my craft room and I've not worked with it. Um, these were certainly easier to work with than the yarn just because of the fingernails, but it was lots of fun. So I hope you like my card and if you do consider um, subscribing to my channel and you might try out this hashtag springy card challenge it was a lot of fun so this is just a couple of views of what this card kit looks like what it can do um, obviously this is my springy card challenge and then this is the one that I was just playing with when I first got it the other day so I hope you like them I need to zoom out because you can't see them and um, I wish you well have a great day thank you bye bye